The 14th Searchlight Battery Finnish, 14. Valonheitin Battery 14, VH, PTRI, was a Finnish anti-aircraft searchlight battery formed from women of the Lottasvard organization, Searchlight Lotters, Finnish, Valonheitin Lotat, at the end of the Continuation War. The battery was formed to free men for other tasks and was used in the air defense of Helsinki. The battery was the only armed unit in Finnish army made up from women that was organized as a military unit fit for combat duty. The searchlight battery was operational from late summer 1944 to the end of the Continuation War but did not see action. <laughs> Background As the air defenses of Helsinki were improved in spring 1944 after the winter bombings it was decided to replace some of the personnel in searchlight units with women to ease manpower shortage. 300 women were selected from students working already in air surveillance duties, of whom 215 arrived for searchlight training. The trainees were mainly from Helsinki University of Technology, University of Helsinki and Ateneum, but also from schools in Turku and Tampere. The training began on 31 May 1944 in Largisalo in Helsinki, but was suspended already on 9 June since there was no guarantee that the women would continue to serve after fall student work responsibility only covered summer months. The training continued after the women expressed interest in the task and pledged to serve for as long as the war demanded or a minimum of one year. After this the number of trainees was set at 145 and the training was concentrated to Anti-Aircraft Regiment 1 Finnish, one ITR-1 in Helsinki, while the training in 1st Independent Anti-Aircraft Battalion Finnish, 1. Erilinen Ilmatorgentapatteristo 1, er, uh, ITP Sto in Turku and 2nd Independent Anti-Aircraft Battalion Finnish, 2. Erilinen Ilmatorgentapatteristo 2, er, uh, ITP Sto in Tampere was discontinued. Captain K. H. Penty led the training while Inkeri Samola acted as the Lotta leader. Samola was later succeeded by Aino Eramo. A voluntary written commitment to remain in service as well as passing a medical examination for continuous outdoor duty was required from the women who wished to serve in the searchlight battery. Training The women completed their training successfully. They were divided into four groups, 25 searchlight team leaders, 30 acoustic locator operators, 63 searchlight operators and 29 generator operators. Three second lieutenants, 30 noncommissioned officers and nine soldiers formed the training staff. The course included several military subjects that had not been taught to lotters before. Armed service caused a minor crisis for the Lotta Svard organization, which had emphasized a principle of nonviolence. Because of Soviet agent and invasion danger the Lotta Svard Central Committee had to consent to arming the women in the searchlight battery. The leader of the Lotta Svard organization, Fanny Luukkanen, said that armed service for women meant the death of womanhood, Finnish, Nezuden Kuolima, but that the wartime situation demanded extraordinary measures. The weapon used by the women was an Italian Terni military rifle that was also used by other anti-aircraft units. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Active Service. As the training ended on the 26th of July, the women were formed into 14th Searchlight Battery and attached to Anti-Aircraft Regiment 1. The battery operated as per normal military chain of command structure and in early August it was assigned to guard the least dangerous sector in the northwestern Helsinki. The battery did not see action and after armistice it was disbanded by the order of commander of the Air Force on 24 September. See also Auxiliary Territorial Service, British Women's Branch that also operated searchlight units. <laughs>